guys, Cam here, and I'm back uh, in the middle of the castle here, uh, the school. And last time we were here, we decided that we were going to use uh, different portions of the wall. Uh, the upper portion of this wall here, the inner and outer part of this, the floaty things from this one, the height from this one, the door that's uh, directly above this wall, and... The outside of this wall, these, uh, I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but we decided we are going to use those. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go through, demolish uh, all of the walls, because none of them actually look anything like what they uh, we wanted them to look like. And I'm going to create a wall in these four sections that we built uh, with the view of what we actually chose. Um, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay, so I'm back and I have finished two of the walls completely. I've gotten started on, uh, the third one there. It's one of the corner ones, so a little bit more difficult. Um, but on the inside, I made a couple modifications. Uh, Ray helped out with this. This is kind of more her flair. Uh, making these little corner things that stick down and um, figured out to put the half slabs lower than upper which is uh, on the outside walls they're high the, there's one that's higher than the fence rather than below the fence I thought it would fit a little bit better lower uh, to meet up with these steps um, in these corner step pieces um, and then she came up with the idea of shortening this and lengthening this one um, I thought up the uh, light in there. And then if you look up at this corner wall, I was using the blue stained glass. But in the at night and it, even in the daytime, really, it's just so dark. Uh, so I decided to use the lighter one that she used for the orb tower, which is the diamond glass. And that seems like it looks a lot better. Uh, it's not quite as dark and it, it seems to be coming out okay um, I'll show you the outside of this because I didn't spread it out quite as much as she did and I, I actually decided to keep this on the outside as well I, I thought it looked really cool uh, but this is what I have going on so far so I just wanted to give you a quick update and I'm going to go ahead and get back to building and when I'm actually done, I will be right back. And I'm back and finally got all four of the walls finished. Um, I have added a light midway. Um, I think I mentioned that before, but it I carried it out into the backside as well. Uh, to the outside of the walls as well and it seems to work really well here let me hop over here and show you what i mean so i only i only jumped from the ground as high as i could reach is where i put it but it seems to work really well there um and i also went and started looking at the towers themselves on the level of the wall and this is what i have come up with an issue that i came up with so up on this wall, wow, up on this wall, I have this issue where I can walk across if I'm using lower half slabs without having to jump, but I don't want to get stuck down here and the lower half slabs just look horrible. And I actually like what the, the room looks like without any slabs, just as a, a is this a, yeah, a diamond wall pyramid, I guess. And I wanted to keep that effect. So I did this already on the other side. I used Ray's technique of just hiding these things. Oh, wait, here we go. But yeah. No, it's not that one. Oh, yeah, it is that one. Okay. So I started hiding these. Because I want to make a, I guess, invisible floor. 
versus Invisible Bridge. And I thought this is such a neat way to do this because I saw Ray's um, uh, altar ruins thing that she's been working on and saw how she made the invisible bridge. And I walked over there and I hadn't, I didn't remember that she'd made that bridge. And I saw this crab, uh, this rockster walk across and I was like wait how did the rockster get a, what it, it's what's there is it floating and then I walked across and I was like how did she do that um, and then she explained again to me that it was uh, what are these things called the grav galactic grav chambers and I thought it was the coolest thing ever so then I went ahead and now you can walk across, no problem. So I am going to do that on all of the towers. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now though, because, oh well, didn't do it there either. <laughs> and that's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't wanna have to worry about falling there or covering up the floor itself. Um, so I don't wanna work on that right now. I'll probably finish that later. But what I have been working on down here is the gate. I'm trying to determine how wide apart I want this gate to be. So coming up here, um, I can either go um, as the stone block walls are showing. I mean, it's only three spaces wide, so it's like really, really narrow. Or, or I could, I guess, go through where the decorative stone floors are. But that's still only like five. I'm I'm not sure. Let me let me test this real quick. Well, I know for a fact I don't want to do the block walls. Let me try the this distance here and see if that's get some light on here. So oh, there we go. Much much better. Okay. So, all right, let's try on this side and see how wide that is. Okay. So that still seems really, really narrow. Uh, you can only really see one tower. And I'd kind of like to be able to see the whole back wall as you're coming in. Although it's not going to be just a wall by the time I'm done. I do want to open it up though a little bit. So let's try that. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot better. I think that's what I'm going to do for the width. Now, I'd like to incorporate some of these column things into the side of the wall. Um, let me see. I'm not even sure how many over I really want to do this. Um, okay, maybe there. And... Okay. Grabbing that. Oh, nope, wrong direction. The wrong direction. Oh! Duh. This way. Haha! -ha. Success. Okay, I'm gonna play with this a little bit more off camera, and I'm going to come back once I get. Uh, one side done and see how this looks. Uh, I'll be right back. And I'm back and I have one half of the archway. Uh, I'm gonna be adding probably something underneath here. I was doing that from above so I couldn't really add too much underneath and I do still want to have the metal chains hanging from there so I'm not sure if I want to have the metal ha chains hanging directly from what are these things called? The decorative stone floor. 
I don't know if I want to have the chain hanging directly from the decorative stone, stone floor or if I want to have uh, something directly underneath that. I'm thinking... I'm thinking to extend the stone blocks, these things, the stone block wall across underneath, but I'm not 100% sure. I am not sure if I want to bring that stacked stone wall all the way up to the top, or even if I want to do this little angular thing in the corner over here. I'm thinking I may do the angular thing underneath just so that it blends uh, a lot better with this side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this edit and that edit and possibly bring those up a little higher because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do just the one. So I tried the two and I'm not sure if I like them in that orientation or if I want to swap them back and have that column on this side and that column on that side. I'm going to give it a try, and when I'm done, I'll be right back. So I'm back, and I was looking at the part of the tower, uh, or the, the archway that I'd already done, and I saw that um, since I'd already done two of these here, that I was going to double up on these here. And this is what it looks like. Um, I'm thinking that's looking pretty epic. I'm going to go up top so you can see what that looks like up there as well. If I can land. So I have these four up here and I, I, I must have like had some epic measuring or some <laughs> really good measuring on that because it worked perfectly. Um, what I'm going to do up here is I'm probably gonna put another one of those on either side so let me add that first because that's not gonna take much time at all Let's see there that one there And done. Okay, so I will go ahead and put the floating item on it afterwards, but I'm going to go ahead while I'm on camera with you and get some of those chains put on below. I'm not exactly sure how t long I want the chains to be, so I'm going to start from the middle, pull her up a little bit be how long it takes me to bump my head in the middle. Okay. And I pre-made a bunch of these. I'm going to count down here. Two seems a little bit short, but I'm going to try for five or six and see how that does. That's three. And I'm going to measure this and see what this looks like. Okay, so that's not bad. And if I have it going at an angle, at the same angle as the rest of the blocks, that should be good. So I'm going to go ahead quickly and pull her back up and get some more of these put down. Oh, wow, I did not remember that you can climb up chains. I really don't want to fall down from climbing up these chains. Oh, oops. Okay. Uh, let me get 
get the, the six down if I can target that block. There we go. Okay, and now these ones, see if I can slide over a bit so I don't have to crouch as much. Two, three, four, five, six, there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let me back up a bit. Go back down. Six. Okay, let me take one quick look at that again. Okay, that looks cool. Let me get the rest of these. I think I chose the wrong place to pull her up. Gotta go up one here. Not high enough. Two, three, four, three, four. And five, six. As I'm doing this, I'm thinking it would look really cool to have some lights on this. On the ends of these. So let me, let me get the last two rows done and see what that looks like. back up the middle and down a couple more is looking epic. Okay. 
Okay, let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks so cool. Wow. Okay, then. Well, I'm really liking how this turned out. Um, I'm actually liking how this whole thing turned out. It's looking really, really cool. Let me know what you think in, in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time.